Hello everyone. Today I was wanting to do a quick video on the X-Wing Squad Builder app by FFG. Uh, this app currently is in the App Store. It has a 1.8 rating, as you can see there. Majority of which are <laughs> one-star reviews. We jump into that a little bit. Uh, you'll see, you know, the app is not ready in its current form. Unusable for squad building on day one. Filter's not working. It's not good. <laughs> Please don't leave it like this. And I mean, it just it just goes on like that. Uh, probably the worst app I've had the displeasure of using. Oh my gosh. The website version is just as bad. Okay, so there's tons of these reviews. They're all pretty low uh, stars. There's a three star. Never find a more wretched hive of scum and disappointment. Um, man, these guys are brutal. I uh, initially was debating about doing this app, but I or doing this review, but I I think there are a couple of key points I'd like to show. Um, in case FFG watches and needs some hints. So we'll jump into the app here. One thing uh, that I love about apps on my phone is I can hit the back button to get out of this and go back to where I was. Uh, this is my back button here and as you can see it is <laughs> it is not functional in the app. Once I'm in the app I am locked in. Um, the only way to get out is to hit the home button and basically start over. So that's kind of an irritating point. When I think of a card database, I really think that when I click this, uh, I should just see a list of cards and then be able to filter on those. Um, FFG had the opposite idea and that you click on it and you just initially have to search for the card that you want. So that's, that's one irritating point. I, th I think if I click on the card database, I should just be taken to the database and be able to filter based on, on different criteria. So let's jump in here to new squad. And I, I need to log in. I have not logged in. I have not signed up. I, I don't want to. I've, I get enough spam. So I'll just log in later. And I have to do that every time. Uh, you can't just check a box to say never prompt me to log in. You always have to select the option. One thing that's cool about this app is that it, it states I can select the game mode. So if I want the extended, which comes with all the conversion kit items, I can select extended. If I just want the second edition, I can select that. If I want variants, those are different scenario based squad building that you can do. The only problem that I'm having with this app today is Scum is not in the core set. I should not have that option. The other interesting thing about it is whenever I select one, let's say Rebel, I should only have one option for a ship because the, the core set only comes with one option. But as you can see, I've, I've got all of them. So at this time, there is no difference in the, the different modes, the different game modes. One thing others have pointed out are the HTML code here, italic. You know, um, yeah, that's that's kind of disappointing. I can actually look past that. That that part doesn't bother me too much. They'll they'll get that resolved. I'm I'm quite certain. What does bother me, and, and I'm sure they'll get all of these these items that I'm bringing up uh, corrected. In fact, that's kind of the point of this video. I hope FFG sees it and takes the constructive criticism to to correct these items. So instead of just saying the app is unusable, I'm trying to point out items that I see as just user interface problems with the application. I'll go to extended here. And let's say I'm wanting to build a swarm list because swarms are supposed to be back in style with uh, X-Wing 2.0. We'll hit add ship. I get my full ship list. So I want Howrunner because swarms, you have to have Howrunner. Great, I've got Howrunner. One thing I don't like about this app is uh, if I am building a list and I select add ship and I've already scrolled down to the ship and selected it, I would like the app to take me back to where I was so that I'm not having to scroll. Uh, it, it would be very convenient if when I selected Howrunner to add her, 
and then selected to add a ship, it would just bring me back to where she was. But it's not doing that currently. That is something I would like to see in future, future releases. The other item. Okay, so I'm going to have Howrunner running with a bunch of Black Squadron Aces. I select to add. Another feature that a lot of fan-based squad builder apps have are that I can copy ships. So let's say I have this Black Squadron Ace, and I'm going to give them a shield upgrade. So I come down. Select my shield upgrade, I add it, and now I want to kit out the rest of my build with Black Squadron Aces with shield upgrades. I can't just copy it. Uh, if I click on it, it, it comes here. I've got the option to view the card. Yeah, that's great. But I don't have an option to duplicate this ship. And for a game that is supposed to be bringing back swarms, being able to duplicate a ship is super helpful, especially when I go to click add ship and again I have to scroll down and find where I was to add the next one. And if I'm wanting all of them to be kitted out the same as far as upgrades, I have to go into each one and add the modification back in. The other is I, I do like I can name my squad, that's, that's helpful. I like naming squads, especially when I can save my squad, which I can do here. But again, I have to be logged in to save my squad. I should be able to just save this locally for the convenience factor, right? Um, yeah, so those are, those are kind of the first, you know, I've only had the app for, for a little bit. We've been waiting a long time for this app and for it to come out with a few of these UI type issues that are pretty inconvenient pretty unfortunate turn of events with the, the release of this app. I think it will put a damper on the X-Wing 2.0 community. Hopefully, FFG takes the criticism that they're getting. They read the reviews of their app in the App Store. I wish I could just click this back button and go show you those, but unfortunately I can't. Uh, again, I would like to see that uh, be fixed. That is, that is very irritating to me.